So what we wanted to do is sort of invite you to let you know what it is that's happening, how you can get involved uh, to help stop the mountaintop removal destruction of Blair Mountain and what the mobilizing efforts we're going to do in DC are. But first we want to make sure that everyone's a little bit familiar with the no, no, environmental no. Uh, impact and then also the labor history that we're trying to preserve. Do you have a couple of clips? Yeah. My name is James Placer and I'm one of the organizers of DC for Blair Mountain, uh, also with the DC Rising Tide Collective. Uh, and tonight's event was an event to kick off our efforts to um, mobilize people to, DC, uh, to West Virginia for June 5th through the 11th to recreate the March on Blair Mountain, one of the largest labor uprisings in the history of the, well, the largest labor uprising in the U.S. history, uh, and also to save Blair Mountain from uh, obliteration by mountaintop and coal mining for coal operators who um, are stealing jobs from workers by uh, increasing mechanization and uh, using dynamite instead of human hands to do their work, uh, and polluting those same workers, the same uh, people's environment uh, by uh, dumping the mountains back into the stream and contaminating the air and water with heavy metals and contaminants. So it's an interesting time for us in DC since we get our electricity, our lights right now are powered uh, by the coal that's extracted in Appalachia. So here's our chance to uh, so we're going to be having events uh, to sort of uh, raise funds and raise awareness about um, you know saving the land. We're also going to try to take what took place tonight, which was a wonderful community building experience, and replicate it at different campuses, uh, congregations, and uh, social justice business zones around the city. And I think we have a tremendous opportunity in D.C. to build a climate justice movement that looks uh, dramatically different from um, the way the environmental movement has looked in the past decades and the way the power shift conflicts look across the country. I think we can build a movement in D.C. in which um, black communities and urban communities are central to the conversation about what kind of energy solutions are actually needed for humanity to move forward in some kind of rational relationship with our planet as opposed to the profit-driven, capitalist-dominated um, exploitation of the environment for profit that we can't really